everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Jason Matuk here, your favorite South Florida luxury real estate expert, and I'm back with another home tour. And if this is your first time on my channel, this is exactly what we do. I take you around, I show you the nicest homes for sale and rent in South Florida, and this just happens to be one of them. Follow me inside, let's get the show started, get your favorite person, get your favorite snack, sit down and relax. Come inside. I've missed you guys, please step in with me. I have an incredible house to show you. Let me just get the door. All right. So as soon as you come in, you know, it's just pretty obvious what the first thing that catches your eye is. You have an elevator, and it's not just like regular rectangle ones, it's like a tube style vacuum elevator. Really cool, but let's hang on for a second. We are about to pass the office. As soon as you walk in on my left, an office space where like James Bond would conduct business, take care of some villains, whatever he does, perfect spot for all that. And then a nice little touch is when you come in, there's a center island. Look at this, you've got this marble table and it's contrasting with the hardwood floors, nice and open, so there's that echo. You know what I mean? Really, really cool, and then here it is the vacuum elevator. I'm gonna be taking this up to the second story when that's time. So stay tuned if you wanna see me hop into this thing. It's gonna be a fun little joy ride. And let's just cut to the left right over here. There's a few cool things to mention. You know, this is where the half bathroom is. So when your guests are leaving the entertainment space and they wanna just pop in here real quick and do what they need to do. This is where you use the bathroom in here. But come look at this, Eric, come look at this. In here, look at the finishes. You have the marble, the toilet opens up automatically. There's like a wood spa looking thing over here and the wood goes all the way across. The finishes are amazing. Take this, put this in your house and now you got a pretty cool house. And then you would think that it's just like another bathroom, but not really. This was supposed to be a bedroom. However, so this is the ensuite for the bedroom. However, look, it's a kid's room. What kid gets to live like this? My kid's room was the living room. And then I got yelled at because my toys were everywhere. How about this? This is a private kid's room. Shade that opens up. His first dollar bill earned right over there. It's just like a kid's, this kid's gonna grow up to be very successful. That's all I'm gonna say. And if you don't like it, if you don't wanna change it up, make this a bedroom. Who knows? Let's go back out. Really cool thing to point out. Look at the floors. In between the wood path are black stones. And the owner was telling me that when he bought this house, it was pretty much an all white house, white stone, gray stones, that whole like modern look and they change it to make it more warm. Even when you're coming across the living room, there's a huge window with green trees and you know, just blue skies and both walls are yours. So it just feels like a little courtyard. And you have this piano just to finish it all up. It's just the icing on the beautiful cake. So as we walk down a little further, here we are into one of the main spaces. We have dining room, we have an, a floating egg chair. This thing's crazy, look at this. It just hangs from the ceiling. I don't know if there's a weight capacity on it, but I'm pretty sure I'll be all right. But yeah, you can just sit here, take a look at the yachts and the boats passing, take, take a look at the floating staircase, the elevator outside, just spin around in circles. All right, before I break it, we'll stop right there. And then let's talk about the dining room because in the dining room, so you have this table, you have these amazing chairs, it's got a great view, but when you come over here, you have a temperature controlled 150 bottle wine room. Look at this, you come in, your favorite bottles on the wall, some midget bottles over here. It's also temperature controlled. I might hang out here a little bit because it's so hot today. Take a little cool off break, but once I'm done, close it up, grab my favorite bottle of wine, serve it to my guests. Everyone's like, oh my God, he went on the stairs for some wine. This guy's crazy. I know, I know. Before we talk about the kitchen where you cook the food for this dinner, I want to talk about the TV room because this thing is amazing. Come over here. As you're passing the Hermes furniture, look at this. It comes into this very warm, cozy, well-furnished room. You have an electric fireplace right down below, TV on the wall. You know, we had a kid in here recently watching this stuff, so that's why there's all this childish things on the TV. Anyway, this is still a room where you can watch the game, the fight. You know, you can just really admire the family time and then the accent lighting, everything just brings it all together. It's like a warm hug. It's really warm in here. It's really warm. And then so we'll come across down to the kitchen. If you wanna see outside, just remember to stay tuned a little bit longer. We'll head out there in a second into the kitchen. Look at this, really cool how they did the whole design of this place. So on top, we have Carrera marble in this kitchen. It's got that nice clear sky look. We have your Wolf gas stove top. We have a vent above. We got some really cool Wolf ovens, microwaves, the works over here. Dishwasher down below. And while you're sitting over here, prepping a meal, just putting out the platter, you're just looking at the glistening water the ocean, the blue skies, it's fantastic. Come down a little further, fridge, freezer, some more storage, 
goes down forever. You got your sink over here. We have another dishwasher. So you get two dishwashers. And then your ice maker is actually over here, right over here. And then you'll see this big gap. This is where a fridge, a wine cooler, like a small one's supposed to go. They actually ordered it and they sent the wrong one. So they're having a new one come. But just imagine this with a nice wine cooler. Also, something that just caught my eye is this like Louis Vuitton lamp. Don't even want to know how much that cost, but it lights up the room, lights up the room. And this is like your bar. They got the best of the best stuff. They got this drink from, um, what, was, what was that show? Better Call Saul, and he was like ordering the shots of this and he like finessed the guy. It was there, I promise. They have that, they have the best liquors. This is where your stuff is gonna go. And then once you grab the drink, serve it up, make Erica Frickin' whiskey sour, I don't know. Something like that, yeah, he's nodding. You come over here, you sit down, you're like, you're like, yeah, man, so you know, like, uh, she's been bothering me, I don't know, you just talk about life and you look out the window and it's just one of them days, you know? And you know what, I've been calling your attention to outside for about 55 minutes now, so why don't we just slide outside through these sliding glass doors. Oh, is it the front door? Someone's at the front door, I guess. Let's go outside. Stepping outside, follow me. Here we are. Keep that smile on your face. It shouldn't go anywhere because we got a lot to talk about out here. First off, a couple places to lounge. That's typical. We see it all the time. A spot for a little flame to come up, warm your little toes when it gets 70 degrees in Florida and you can't take it anymore. But let's just cut right to the chase. You come out and you see this beautiful finish on the pool. It looks like a snakeskin floor, dark finish. I'm a big fan of that. And you're just looking at a nice peaceful view of the water. The sun's on my face, I'm getting a tan over here. My eyes can't be taken away from the water. It's heaven, it's heaven out here. And besides the place to lounge, come down a little further, a place to dine, a place to have a meal outside. It's just, it's really inclusive. You could host a huge party out here. Each table sits six people, so that's 12 people out here. And when it's time to put on some entertainment, you wanna watch Jace Matuk's luxury home tour videos, TV on the wall, grill over here, spark it up, make a steak, I'll have my medium rare, thank you, and then, Life is good, life's good. And then loungers, loungers on that side, but let me take you down over here. This will resonate with a lot of people looking for a home in Miami. Cause that's why you're here. You're either watching this because you want inspiration, you wanna buy a home in Miami, or you're just a looky-loo. I'm talking specifically to the people who wanna buy a home in Miami. Come over here. And you have this, 80 feet long. You can come park your yacht out here, come downstairs, head to the straight to the ocean. No one's complaining. Look at your neighbors, mega yachts. You got the best of the best people surrounding you. This is a great place to be. I'm about to go blind from the sun. And on that note, I want to cut back upstairs, take you, you haven't even seen anything. You haven't seen the movie theater. You haven't seen the gym. You haven't seen the main suite. What are you even doing? Have we even seen a bedroom? I don't think we have. Follow me upstairs. Actually, follow me to the elevator so we can go upstairs. Here we are. I just came off the spaceship, and then this is the second floor, so let's just get right into it behind me. This is guest bedroom number one. I wanna take you in really quick because this is not just any old guest bedroom. You got a private balcony, walk-in closet. The closet actually leads to your ensuite. You even have a place over here with a mirror and some shoes, all your pleasantries on one side. But let's get to the fun stuff. You came to this channel because you wanted to see some fun things and some nice houses over here. This is a room that many of us watching would use. I know I would. Boom. This is your gym room. You know, you got the, the typical things you would see in a gym. The wall mirror. You have this, I've seen this before on like TikTok ads. This thing that like interacts with you, you like beat it up. You know, you just do stuff like that. Treadmill, TV on the wall. A room that many of us would enjoy, even a window, so you can see in, get the natural light. This also opens up to the balcony on that next guest bedroom. Let me just take you in there. Let's do it in there instead, because that shade is down. Check it out. Boom, another balcony. This is the one that connected to the gym. And a cool thing is down here, you can actually have a guest sleep over. And this was the same in the guest bedroom that I just showed you. You can have two people sleep in here, and then same exact layout, closet, ensuite behind me. And like I said, I wanna show you some fun stuff. So let's keep it going. Let's say, boom, it's Friday night. 
your best friends come over, Eric, all the boys, they come over, and it's like game night. You're not gonna watch TV downstairs like a pleb. No, we want some real ting. You open this door up, you got a movie theater room. That's what I'm talking about. You got the big screen behind me, surround sound speakers, chairs that light up, recline, hold your drinks, and light up the drinks. You, you're not missing a single thing in here. And if you thought you were, you're like, Jason, yeah, but where are the snacks? God, you really haven't watched our channel, have you? Snack area, you got the smeg fridge, it's got that 50s look, it's incredible. And then follow me down a little bit further, watch your step. We're gonna keep it moving. This is the kid's bedroom. It's kind of laid out like a kid's bedroom, but it would only take a paint job to make it look like a adult bedroom if you have like an older son or daughter. So as you come down the closet, is behind this farmhouse door, right? And then in the closet, look at this. Boom, takes you into the bathroom, the ensuite, Gucci backpack. That's how you know we're dealing with some serious stuff. And then in here, look at the wallpaper. I mean, you remember yourself as a kid, you love dinosaurs. They're all over your wall. Dinosaur LED, the, the paint job, everything. This is the most comfy looking bed I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> and you get our own balcony behind here. There's another balcony, but I'm gonna actually save it because I couldn't figure out how to, I honestly couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure out how to move it, but look at that, water view. The good thing is we'll be able to see this balcony from the main suite, which is where I'm taking you almost. We're almost there. Now a little further. So this, and this is from the owner's mouth. This is where your drunk friend Jimmy sleeps when he needs a place to crash, he's had too much to drink, he just needs a little spot. He's got an ensuite. He can throw up in there, take a shower, do his thing, and then when he comes into here, you know, a room, right? So you got an office space. This is a little bit like a computer area. However, Jimmy, if it's time to sleep, boom. Jimmy can rest up on this pull down bed. He gets a view of the water. This man's in heaven. This man is in literal heaven. And actually, let me just pop this balcony open so you can see it. Right here. I know I said earlier that this is the one that connects to the main suite. That's not true. This is a separate balcony. Boom. Balcony out here. Super nice, tons of space. However, it does not compare to the main suite. The main suite is gonna blow your friggin' socks off. You have to go Amazon Prime some socks tomorrow, otherwise you're barefoot for the week. I don't know what that means. All right, out of here, come down. I just wanna point something out, look at this. Look at this beautiful view, the elevator, the tall windows. This is an incredible property. And it's about to turn up a notch. So let me just crank it up into here. Fingerprint to get in. Obviously mine's not gonna work because it's not my house, but yours will. And you're coming in, mirror, on the left, try out the whole fit, right? Boom, into your big, beautiful room. You got Hermes, Ting on the bed. You know, this might look like a normal entertainment stand to you, however, it's actually a wine cooler. Fridge, if you will. Put some drink in there, you know how it is. Like I said, tons of space, I'm in love with it. Got floating side tables, all that stuff. Where's the bathroom, Jason? Where are we peeing? Where are we, where are we getting ready? into here. Welcome to your bathroom. Incredible. You have the dual sinks. Look at the soaking tub right here. Boom. Resting in the corner like a baby in the mother's arms. You have a walk-in shower. Can I call it a walk-in shower? I can call this a jump-in shower. This thing is huge. Look at this. The finish. Got that marble finish going down the stones on the floor. Privacy for your butt. View for your eye. You know how it is. Coming down, we have the bathroom, and then we have another toilet over here. You got the same automatic. Open up toilet, and this is something I'm gonna blow your mind with. Behind this, so I didn't mention this, and I should have mentioned it earlier, there's over $1.5 million of upgrades, okay? And in here, there's about $300,000 of that 1.5 million just in the closet. Come on in. So into the closet. Like I said, this is a $300,000 closet. Incredible. 
starts off with a vanity. This was actually taken from some of the square footage of the bedroom, the kids' bedroom. They turn it into this as, this. so this would have been the closet, but they have it over here. There's a place to hang up your dress while you're doing your makeup so you can match it to your eyeliner. All these handbags, he said there's over a million dollars of handbags right over here, so you get the vibes. Coming down further, tell me we are not in a department store. There's a scent in here. These are the, that, that famous like Instagram flower that you get ordered. It's sitting in the closet, okay? It's not sitting in my closet. Anyway, tons of space, shoes slightly able to be seen. You just see designs from all over the world. You can tell there's some serious work in here, but look at the lighting, right? I feel like I'm in a fair Paris runway. It's just really nice. And then I wanna leave you with one last thing, the view from the main suite balcony. Follow me out here. Boom. Out here, huge balcony. I can see down there, sunny aisles, beautiful water, the boats, everything that anybody could ever want. And it's all here, sitting in your beautiful North Miami home. This is a gorgeous property. We're in Eastern Shores once again. And I just wanna say, I love you guys. I care about you guys. I care about you guys more than any other YouTuber cares about their audience. That is a fact, it's a weird fact. It's kind of crazy that I love you so much. And I just wanna say that I'm gonna see you the next one. I hope you guys are liking the new edits you're seeing. We got the same old Eric Rossi. We got the new editor behind the screen. Maybe he'll have to make an introduction, food vlog. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Subscribe, vibe, have a good day. Eric, let's ride.